Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I have my May update for my hashtag team project pan for you. Now, as I mentioned in my last update, I was not expecting to wear as much makeup this last month and you can definitely see through the progress that I did not, but that's okay. It is what it is. I still used up one product, so not too bad. Let's just go through an order with my primer. This is definitely feeling empty. I've reached the point where I have to stand it up straight so that the product's sinking down to the bottom. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It was 45 grams last check in and today it is 40 grams. So five grams of product used. This is the Jumbo two fluid ounce 60 mil size. And it is old, it's definitely getting down as I said though. So maybe another month or so on this one I think. We'll see how we go. Something else that's definitely probably going to be done by the end of this month um, is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin in the shade Fair. It is not fair. Last check-in it was 25 grams. Today it is 22 grams. That is the smallest jump I've made in terms of progress. But as I said, I was expecting to not make a lot of progress, particularly on this but this is very close to being empty. It should be finished up this month. Here's hoping. What I had finished up my Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer last check-in and I rotated in the Rare Beauty Concealer. I don't even know what it's called. Thinking it's what I'd been using, it was fine, I was going to use it. But I've decided I'm going to declutter this purely because there are other conceals in my collection I like more. Uh, if you see my haul that will be coming up not next video but the video after, I've just bought two new concealers which I have a video idea for, that's why I bought them but that's not the point. I have two new concealers in my life that are lighter coverage concealers and are better than this. So. I'm just, I'm done with trying to make this work when I don't love it. So I'm going to declutter that. And what I'm going to rotate in is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Huh. This is just a little mini size. And I have taken progress photos. I've decided I'm going to start doing that for my visual progressing. And you will see on the screen now, hopefully, that there is already a little bit of a dip in this. Um, but I think it will take quite a while for me to get all the way down. Um, there'll definitely be a point when I can't stick my finger in it anymore and I'll have to use a brush, but that's okay. So that's what I'll be using. It is currently 24 grams. Next is powder, which I did finish up as expected my Milk Makeup uh, Translucent Loose Powder. And what I am rotating in is the Beauty Bakery flour better not bitter powder so it it's down to there it's down to the setting powder bit so not quite halfway um it's currently 56 grams i don't love this powder um it sets my makeup quite well but it's quite a matte powder so what i so the powders I put on top, so my blush and bronzer and things, they can sometimes blend away. Um, so what I found helps is doing setting my base and then straight away going in with MAC Fix Plus to kind of set it in a little bit and then go, once that's set, doing my eyes and then going and doing blush, bronzer and highlighter. I find that has been helpful in kind of taking down the powdery element that's stopping the other powders from blend, like sitting on top of it. Um, and that's why I just want to really use this up quite quickly while I can because it's not a powder I would repurchase. And I have quite a few backup powders in my collection I want to get to. So there's that. Next, we have my blush. Blush, as I said, 
I'm going to be taking photos, so it will be on the screen what it looks like. I don't have a comparison to last month, but it doesn't look any different in my opinion. I haven't been wearing it a whole lot. As I said, I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup. So, but I feel like I will be using more blush now that it is the powder I have on requires a little bit more blush. Same with my bronzer. Um, I've definitely seen some wear away at the pattern in this. You will again, won't be able to see that in the photo, but hopefully this next photo, like when I compare it next time, I will, will have used up, like gotten rid of even more of the design. I'd like to have no design by next check-in if I can. That is my goal on my bronzer. And neither of those weights have changed. The blush is still 35, the bronze is still 62. As expected. Paper progress. I have no visual change in progress for either my highlighter or my eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm actually quite low down on my um, hourglass stick so I do I really hope that I can use this up soon because I'm so close I can feel it. I'm not digging into this like but there's no visual progress on that there's also no visual progress on my eyeliner not eyeliner <laughs> my benefit precisely my brow because I got my brows tinted um, and that was kind of the only week I wore makeup and I don't need to use pencil when I have fresh tinted brows. I do have a little bit of progress on my Marc Jacobs eyeliner and my Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Stick. So my Marc Jacobs eyeliner, very little progress, but there is a little bit just there. You can see it. And then the Bobbi Brown, again, just a little bit, probably... If I really work hard at the Bobbi Brown, I can get it finished this month, but I don't think I will. And the Marc Jacobs is going to take me all year, I'd say. Then, lip balm. I rotated in the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Lemon Meringue? Lemon Sorbet? I don't know, it's worn off. It was 10 grams, it's now 8 grams, but it's also... There's barely anything left. So I haven't taken a progress photo of this. Because this, I don't think is going to last me maybe till the end of the week. In all honesty, there's so little left. So I'll be then rotating in the mint choco version, which I have a starting photo for me here. As you can see, it is brand new. Um, so there's that. And then my lip liner is my, my lip colour product is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. I think I show up on this like once. And there is, again, very little progress on it, but you can kind of see it down there. As I said, not much progress, but kind of as I was expecting for this month. Um, I have had some reasonable progress on my skincare though. Not so much my mist. So this is the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. Um, and I'm actually thinking of bringing this, I haven't been misting in my skincare routine as much because I have introduced a new vitamin C that is quite hydrating. So I feel like I don't need the additional hydrating step of my mist. So I'm actually thinking of bringing this back into my makeup room, um, to use it with that, the Beauty Bakery powder instead of my Fix Plus because my Higgs Plus is almost empty anyway. But that is my plan for this. As you can see, not much progress at all in the last month. I went from 67 to 60 grams. Um, so not much at all. I'm hoping that bringing it back in here will help with that. What I did get some good use on was my cleanser. This is the Then I Met You Soothing Tea Cleansing Gel. It was 60 grams, it's now 41 grams. Um, yeah, I think maybe another month or two, if I go by when my Ren was, when my Ren was 
46 grams it took two months but this feels empty this just feels like it's getting low so maybe another month on this one we will see something that's probably going to take me the entire year because i'm going through it quite slowly but that kind of looks like i'm almost at the halfway mark it's 15 mils and i've used six grams so maybe I'm at the halfway man on this. This is the Skin Ceuticals Resveratrol BE Antioxidant Night Concentrate. Um, it was 102 grams. It's now 100 grams. I don't know. As I said, I don't even know if it's doing much. Oh, maybe that is. I can't tell the plastic's so dark. It's a bit confusing. We'll just see how this goes I'm just going to use it all see how we go and then my moisturizer is the Saturday skin waterfall glacier water cream again I have a photo of this this probably is going to take me another month or two not too much longer you'll be able to see from the photo that I definitely hit the bottom there's a little bit left so again another month or two there as I mentioned last update I have stopped doing fragrance I just want to enjoy my fragrances um, and the body product I rotated in which was the mother dirt body oil I haven't used so there is no progress on that because I haven't used any body products but I do have a wedding this week so I will need to show exfoliate fake tan and all that so I'll use that oil the day before I fake tan to rehydrate so I'll use it at least once this month. We'll see how I go getting it. I just really am horrible at using body moisturizing products. It is what it is. All right, guys. So that is it for my May update for my hashtag Team Project Pan 2022. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're doing a Project Pan in the comments down below, how you're going, if, what you think of any of these products. I'd love to know. And make sure to click subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.